Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 145 Might of the Devil Flame 1. The swamp hippos were each the size of a small car. When over twenty of them charged forward, it was like being run over by twenty cars going full speed. The earth trembled under the combined weight of the swamp hippos. Their imposing aura surged forth, instilling shock and awe into all observers. In the distance, Lonely Snow, who observed this scene, wore a nervous expression. He tightly gripped the secret silver ranked great axe in his hands. He wondered just what their party leader, Shurfong, intended to do. This was a group of over twenty level fifteen swamp hippos. Not only did these monsters possess thick hides and sturdy muscles, but they also possessed two thousand HP each. Just judging by how the earth trembled with each step, one could easily tell just how powerful these swamp hippos were. If that kind of body plowed into sure foam, the consequences would be unimaginable. However, sure foam remained extraordinarily calm as he silently awaited the arrival of the swamp hippos. Just as the swamp hippos were right before him, sure foam finally took action. As sure foam raised the pitch black abyssal blade, it released a chilling glow. Green arcs of electricity abruptly appeared on the blade, producing crackling sounds. Sure Fong then slashed down, the abyssal blade pointing at the incoming swamp hippos. Thundering flash, three electric arcs chained towards the swamp hippos, one after another. When the swamp hippos leading the charge noticed these arcs of electricity moving towards them, their bodies instinctively trembled. Though they tried to halt their feet to dodge these electric arcs, the swamp hippos at the back crashed into them. As a result, none of them managed to dodge the incoming attack. In the end, they received all three hits. After the electric arcs flashed by, the squealing of pigs at slaughter filled the surrounding space. The smell of something burning also filled the air. A series of damages appeared above the twenty-plus swamp hippos, creating a dazzling sight. Every swamp hippo received frightening damages of 356, 481, and 648. Some even received critical hits, suffering damages of over 1,000 points, their HPs immediately falling to zero. The remaining dozen or so swamp hippos were burnt black. Their HP bars also dropped to dangerous levels, turning a bloody red color. Moreover, a debuff icon appeared beside their HP bars. Damage Amplification All damage received increased by 20% for 20 seconds. Immediately, fear surfaced on the faces of all the surviving swamp hippos. They all wished to scatter and escape. Sure Fong gave them no chance whatsoever. With a sudden leap, Sure Fong jumped into the airspace above these swamp hippos. He raised the Silver Lake the sword giving off a faint blue glow as it carried with it the power of thunder and fire. Sure Fong loosed a thunder flame explosion in the midst of the swamp hippos, thunder and fire exploding outwards, devouring every single swamp hippo. With the damage amplification effect, this attack of Sure Fang's caused over 900 damage on the swamp hippo, instantly killing every single one of them. The gigantic figures of the 20 plus swamp hippos fell to the ground with a loud boom shaking and trembling the earth. The scene was similar over twenty small cars descending from the air, heavily smashing into the ground. When the bodies of the swamp hippos collided with the ground, the resulting impact generated gusts of wind that spread to the surroundings, causing the leaves and branches of the nearby trees to snap and float in mid-air. Lonely Snow, watching this scene from a distance, was completely dumbfounded. Be it the visual or physical sensation, both impacted him greatly. Sure Fong caused over 1,000 damage to the level 15 swamp hippos, ending their lives in just two moves. Just how high of an attack power was required to achieve such a feat? If Sure Fong fought against average players, wouldn't he kill one with every strike? Lonely Snow even started to suspect that he and Sure Fong were not playing the same god's domain. The difference in strength between them was no longer just several stages. It was practically the difference between the sky and the earth. Lonely, you pick up the loot. I'll go help Blackie. 
Sherfin instructed before turning to chase after the steel-skinned hippo. Lonely Snow nodded in reply, though an absent-minded expression remained on his face. He thought that he had hallucinated before, but after giving his eyes a rub, the pile of swamp hippo corpses still remained. Plenty of items and coins blanketed the ground surrounding them. He now knew that this was not a dream, but reality. When Lonely Snow looked at the system notifications and his experience bar, he was once more given a shock. System. Level 15 Swamp Hippo Killed. Level Difference of 7. EXP obtained increased by 700%. Obtained 1,650 EXP. System. Level 15 Swamp Hippo Killed. Level Difference of 7. EXP obtained increased by 700%. Obtained 1,650 EXP. System. Level 15 Swamp Hippo Killed. Level Difference of 7. EXP Obtained Increased by 700%. Obtained 1,650 EXP. After a series of notifications displayed, Lonely Snow's experience bar greatly increased, reaching 69% of level 8. The amount of EXP he obtained was truly frightening. Previously, even when faced with level 8 monsters, they needed to kill each one while being extremely cautious and prudent. Moreover, every kill only yielded each member of the party several tens of EXP. After spending over an hour repeating the same process, they would see their experience bars increase by a sizable portion. On the other hand, Sherfong casually killed off a large group of level 15 swamp hippos with only a few moves. Even after splitting the EXP obtained amongst the three of them, Lonely Snow's experience bar still increased by a sizable chunk. Only now did Lonely Snow understand how Sher Fong managed to level up so quickly. In this regard, Lonely Snow became even more respectful towards Sher Fong. There was even a hint of fanaticism in his eyes. If he followed someone as strong as Sher Fong, his future would be limitless. Even if he could not become Sher Fang's equal, as long as he continued struggling forward, he could still become a true expert one day. On the other side, Blackie was still toying around with the steel-skinned hippo, continuously decreasing the elite hippo's HP. However, not only did the steel-skinned hippo had a very high recovery rate, but its HP was also very high. It would recover a lot of HP every five seconds. Moreover, Blackie's attacks could only inflict a tiny amount of damage. If he wanted to grind away the steel-skinned hippo's life completely, he would need at least 20 minutes. And yet, instead of tiring, Blackie grew even more excited. Dark arrows flew from his hand, one after another, each arrow bringing Blackie even more joy. The reason Blackie reacted this way was that challenging monsters of a higher level in God's domain was extremely difficult. Meanwhile, he was currently bypassing seven levels to challenge a level 15 elite monster. If he spoke of this feat in the future, he would enjoy supreme glory. It was this sense of achievement that became the largest motivation for Blackie. Blackie, use evil whip, Sherfong said in the party chat after hurrying over. Okay, seeing Sherfong arrive, Blackie knew that it was time to deal with the steel skinned hippo. As Blackie's chanting came to an end, Nine black barbed vines sprung up and bound the steel-skinned hippo's four limbs, restricting its speed. However, the steel-skinned hippo's strength was just too high. In the blink of an eye, one of the vines snapped, while the remaining eight were only a small matter. At this moment, Sherfong used wind blade, rapidly arriving behind the steel-skinned hippo. Instantly, three sword strikes landed on the steel-skinned hippo's body the collision producing glittering sparks. Seeing that the attacks from his swords had only dealt 22 damage each to the steel-skinned hippo, Sherfong was slightly speechless. It was as expected of the steel-skinned hippo. Its physical defense was truly frightening. It also possessed its innate steel skin, reducing all physical damage it received by 70%. If even Sherfong could only cause slightly over 20 damage to the steel-skinned hippo, a normal physical damage dealer would most likely cause two or three damage. This rate of damage certainly could not contend with the steel-skinned hippo's regeneration speed. Sherfang's attacks had yet to end. 
He immediately followed up with a thundering flash, the three electric arcs causing 125, 160, and 211 damage. The steel-skinned hippo was instantly enraged, spun around, charging at sure foam. However, with the thorny vines restricting it, the steel-skinned hippo's turning speed was slowed. This situation gave Sure Fong the chance to evade its charge easily. Sure Fong continued with a series of attacks on the steel-skinned hippo, using one skill after another. However, the damages his attacks managed to cause were generally very low. Ew. Enraged, the steel-skinned hippo abruptly jumped. It intended to use War Stomp. War Stomp was hippo's killing move. When used, the skill would cause all enemies within a 15-yard radius to enter a fainted state for 5 seconds. Reacting quickly, Sure Fong immediately cast Abyssal Bind on the steel-skinned hippo. The hippo's movements immediately halted, and its war stomp canceled. Originally, Sure Fong did not think that there would be any issues. However, a chilling sensation pervaded his entire body, preventing him from moving a muscle. All of his skills were unusable. This is the Tier 1 magic, Death's Lock. Sher Fong was astonished. With his many years of experience, he immediately knew what sort of attack struck him. This was definitely not a move of the steel-skinned hippo. Not bad. This is something that I specifically prepared just for you. You can be at ease and be on your way. A black figure suddenly appeared behind Sher Fong. This figure was precisely the absolute heaven the expert assassin Shurfong had met before. In the same moment Absolute Heaven revealed himself, the silver dagger in his hand sunk into Shurfeng's back. Absolute Heaven's ambush instantly caused 357 damage.